What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's up guys, welcome to part two with this mono green Sterix deck. We really got to see it do its thing in game one, or, or excuse me, in video one, game three. Uh, a video one so if you're interested please go check that one out you can kind of take a peek at the deck a little bit more as well as we go through it uh, and kind of see exactly why we have what we have so uh we're gonna give it three more games here i'm excited this deck is really solid uh so far so i'm excited to see how it goes uh now this hand on the other hand a little bit tricky i think i'm gonna try this solely because if we do draw one more land uh we can great horn um, but we did see that kind of backfire in game two of video one, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, thankfully, that is actually a nice little draw. Um, Mardu, uh, it looks like, probably a Knight's deck. Uh, and that just kind of reaffirms it. That definitely affirms it. So, yep, it looks like we are against the Knight's deck. Let's see what we can do. Um, here. Hmm. I'm gonna play the symbiote here we'll see if they uh do anything about it and we're really really needing a land next turn um more than anything i mean we do have a follow-up play just in case but if we can get a land we're in much better shape uh because we can great horn onto something uh we do have to be careful they've got removal in this deck pretty handily uh so we'll do the best we can to to get around that but they're not playing it this turn at least so that's good yeah that sucks, but uh, we're not going to block. I'm going to take it. It's a lot of damage. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and mutate this out. Uh, we are going to get to gain a little bit of life, and we really just are hoping they don't have the removal spell, uh, which it's a very strong possibility that they do, uh, but we, we kind of have to bank on it, uh, unfortunately. Um Okay. Okay. So they didn't have it. Well, that's a positive at least. Um, we're still going to be taking a pretty big hit here, though. Uh, and this being indestructible is pretty annoying. Interested to see how they do this. Um, I'm going to do that. Get rid of this guy. All right, now, um, how can we do this is the question. Uh, kind of need to spread out threats a little bit, uh, if I'm honest. Um, and I don't know if we can honestly do this. Uh, let's see. Play out that. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. You can go three, but that's not going to do it. Um, I mean, we'll play this out, but the assumption is that this isn't going to be enough, right? Because they can still get a couple threats in. Um, any two things that get through pretty much kill us. And if they've got a removal spell, yeah. All right. Well done, opponent. Um, they just had a much faster deck, uh, which I think speaks to... Well, excuse me. I'll say a much faster hand. Um, because we do have very, very fast hands of our own, especially with Yervo. Uh, where we can get, you know, a 4 draw or a 4-4, four, four, excuse me, on turn 3. Maybe, well, yeah, on turn 3. Like, that's pretty solid. So I think that um, given a faster hand, we could have much... Maybe not won, uh, for sure, but we could have very much handled that uh, a little bit better. Um, I'm going to keep this a little land heavy, but I think I'd prefer to be a little land heavy, honestly. Um, and this is an Obosh deck, so we do want to get our threats out uh, as quickly as possible. So this is a nice 2, 3, 4, uh, and then 5 if we would like. Um, so we'll see what we can do. Don't really want to be trading off the Barkhide Troll as much as possible. We kind of want to make up spend a removal spell on it. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see obviously, what... Uh, what comes out of this. <clears throat> okay. 
uh, kind of good for us because, again, this does block it, which means they just need to spend a spell uh, if they're going to deal with it. Uh, and a lot of times this deck, if it's an Obosh deck, uh, they don't run a ton of burn. They probably have bone crushers and stuff like that, but that's that might be it. Um, in which case, I don't think we block either. Um, we let them attack in, devalue the removal just a bit. Um, the assumption is that they'll have a bone crusher giant, so I, I mean that's not 100% guaranteed, but I'd rather them not be able to just kill this off the bat. Um, and next turn we've got Yervo. Uh, which is going to do a lot. And you can tell, so if they did not have the Bone Crusher, they just would have played this out. So um, that was, I think, definitely the correct call. Uh, let's get Yervo down. And again, I'm going to say no attacks here. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see if that's the right call. I don't know. Um, but next turn we get another creature down, which is going to buff up Yervo even more, which is awesome. Um, so it's going to get things kind of out of range of a lot. Uh, may end up kind of trading this guy off. Uh, we'll see. So they can shock this. Uh, so maybe that's not the right thing to do. Maybe we will just... We probably should have attacked last turn. That might have been a mistake. Okay. I wasn't even looking at their their cards up there. They probably had that shock already. Um, we're going to do this because it's an indestructible 5-6. Um, <laughs> and I think... We'll go ahead and attack. We'll attack with the troll here. I'm not going to attack quite yet with Yervo. They may have Obosh coming down this turn, which is part of why I wanted to get the indestructible threat on the turn, or on this this turn. Um, so we're going to have to really be able to block out here. Uh, thankfully, Yervo's at five, which does make it difficult for the opponent. Um, <laughs> Can we mutate this quite yet? No, right? One, two, three, four, five. Not quite yet. So we'll just play this out. Maybe that would have worked. I don't know exactly how that works. Does this then help you mutate? That's a learning thing. I need to figure that one out. Um, but we, we'll figure it out. No problem. Uh, thankfully, we're just clogging up the board. <laughs> That's all we really need to do against this deck right now. We can wait out uh, a lot longer than they can. Um, that helps them tremendously, though. Uh, but again, we've got our blocker. So it's like, you know, it would suck, but it's not going to really be the end of the world for us. Uh yeah, I mean, I'm not feeling bad. Next turn, we're just going to Auspicious Sterex here. Okay, uh, so... That's going to block there, for sure. Um, I'm going to let this happen. I'm assuming that they've got a burn spell. Um... So this is going to kill our Yervo. Maybe should have... Ah, uh, that's okay. But we do have Obosh off the field, which is huge for us. And then next turn we get to get some free stuff on the field. Alright. So let me see if this works. Do we just mutate onto our indestructible? I mean, that seems pretty good. Um, or do we mutate onto this? I think we need to spread this out a little bit. Um, yeah. That's good. Um, then we get the Barkai Troll out. 
Uh, yeah. So, the question is, do we attack? Um, I'm thinking no. We do have to be very careful, because, I mean, they do have a lot of power on the field, so we just can't take too much. Um, well-timed burn spell on their end, that was a bit of a mistake uh, to block. Uh, no, I don't think it was a mistake to block, but I think if we were going to block, we should have double blocked, like blocked something else as well. Um, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you, or attempt to. I'm just going to kind of block a lot. Um, okay. They're going to get a lot of 1-1s. One <laughs> no doubt about that. Um, resolve call. Very good. And maybe they have another annex? No. Okay. Phoenix is good. Um... Because, well, actually, I mean, we do have the Recluse, but still is very, very good because we do need to get something a little bit more powerful to kind of deal with that. Um, so the hope is we can get, it's like, a Gem Razor, maybe. Let's get the value. Uh, we're putting it under. Oops, get our land. Not the greatest of things. Um, all right, uh, let's attack. Should we attack, I guess, is the question. I'm going to pass one last time. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Um, this makes the math very, very difficult uh, because they can punch through a lot of damage. They can do this twice. Uh, this can block it, which is good. But it's not going to be enough, so... Or no, yeah, I guess it will, right? But they obviously have a lot in their graveyard, so... Uh, we'll trade off there. Um, do that. That. Oops, there we go. Um, we really don't need this guy right now, so I'm just going to block one of these guys. They really didn't have to pump this, but that's fine. Alright, we lost a lot, <laughs> but uh, we kind of had to. Let's get you out. Let's do this. That's pretty good. So the problem is that we lose next turn because of this, right? Yeah. Seven. Yeah. It's not going to be enough, right? By one. By one. So the problem is this just comes down and kills us uh, because... They have more than enough to pump it up. So, well done, opponent. That was a very hard-fought game, and I don't think we played incorrectly. I think what uh, we just needed a better reacher. Um, the Recluse was very, very good because it did save us for a turn. Uh, if we had gotten one more, I think we could have gotten there. But regardless, still felt pretty good. Let's go ahead and finish out, uh, make sure that we've got our three games in here and see how we do. Uh, still really love this deck, though, I'll be honest. It, it feels like it has pretty much everything it needs. It just maybe needs a little bit more consistency. Um, but it's pretty consistent, honestly. I think it's just, like, against specific cards, like Flyers, uh, it can have a rough time. But we've got the cards in the deck to deal with it. I think it's just a matter of we didn't have them that turn. Um, Garuda is what we are up against, which is going to be a bit of a problem, probably. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. We will see what we can do. Evolving Wilds, sure. Um, we're gonna go to the ramp 
route here. We want to get to the Sterics as quickly as possible. Hopefully finish the game as quickly as possible. Uh, the good thing about these Garuda decks, they generally don't just immediately win. That's not to say they can't immediately win. That's just to say that that's not generally how it goes. But we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, let's Pelt Collector. And then let's play out this Recluse here. I'm kind of trying to spread damage out at this point. Um, so that way when we do attack in, hopefully next turn, uh, we can get a good attack in. We can really, really trample over whatever they're doing. Uh, swing in with both of these. They'll block one, and that's fine. Or they won't block one. I don't know why they wouldn't have. Um, seems kind of silly. I mean, yeah, we weren't 100% tapped out, but essentially we were tapped out. Very good. Ooh, nice. Cool card. Kind of thankful we've got the recluse here. Uh, all right. Let's see. I like that. That's a cool little interaction. Uh, resolve. Resolve. Oh, well, look at that. That's really nice. Um, holy crap, that's nice. Uh, and yeah, might as well. Uh, we're gonna attack in with as much as we can. Good, good. All right. Um, this turn, if they have a land, they can Garuda. Um, if they don't have the Thassa's Oracle build, they may not win right away, but we'll, we'll see. If they've got Agent of Treachery, it's gonna be bad. Or no, they can't have Agent of Treachery. I'm sorry. They get Thassa here, I assume. Yep. And this will give them an extra activation. Um, but we still may very well... Got another Garuda. I assume they're just going to get that. Yeah. Sack one, do it again. This Garuda deck is sweet. Uh, we played this Garuda deck, actually. Um, very, very fun. But, oh, they got an Endraced Forerunners. Unfortunately, it was at the end of their turn. <laughs> so that doesn't really matter. Uh, sure. Only lasts for the end of the turn, though, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so the question is, do we just want to do this? Eh, not very helpful. Um, might have been incorrect to play that. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm going to attack with everything. They can easily just, like, eat this. Um, but I think that just kills them, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's fine. Uh, and that was a mistake. We could have actually won there. Uh, so my mistake. 100% should have just attacked and not played the Bark Hydral. That was a mistake on my end. So if we lose, that's why. I suck. Take away. Um, but we at least got the Garuda off the field. Um, that's a good one. It's a very good card, uh, but it doesn't actually... Well, they get to fight another thing, but it doesn't It doesn't win them the game. So essentially, we just could have won a turn earlier. I mean, that's all it is. Um, I'm kind of just doing this to see what we get, to be honest. And this is, again, just because it's fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Um, 
We're just going to attack all here. And this should... I mean, we just win off of this. Cool. I like this deck, guys. Uh, I know we did not win every single game or anything like that. Uh, it's not like we just you know, murdered all the time, all that stuff. But uh, we did a really nice job of um, finishing him off on this one, at least, despite missing it for a turn. Um, I really like this deck. So to sum up uh, how I feel, I feel like this is just mono green Stompy with an upgrade. Uh, hey, let's open a couple packs really quick. Uh, 2020, haven't opened you in a while. Um, it is just, I mean, oh, okay. Um, it is just a solid upgrade, I think. I mean, the Mutate mechanic is so nice. Uh, we've played a number of Mutate decks. Uh, some of them were... I think we did Soul Time Mutate. I think we might have done Bamp Mutate or Simic Mutate. I, we've done a lot. Um, and that's really, really fun. What's great about this is because you're in mono green, mana, unless you get mana screwed like we did in one game, but uh, unless you get mana screwed, it's just so efficient, so easy. Uh, and so, like, getting to your mutates is like not a problem uh not to mention you've got a lot of great targets for mutate like the barkhide troll though we didn't really ever have to mutate onto it uh paradise through it again we didn't have to but conditional hexproof that's great uh gem razor really really all-star card uh even without killing any artifacts or enchantments it's an all-star card because it gives it trample uh and reach and so what you can do is like in a board stall position where you've got just a lot of stuff on the field, uh, Gem Razor is going to be the card that you get to attack in with. You mutate onto a big creature, hopefully get a few counters on it, uh, and then you just swing in. And then all of a sudden you're dealing tons and tons of damage because you just have trample. Uh, and so it makes the, it, it really, really solves the issue of the board stall positions. Uh, one thing that I will say, the reach in this deck uh, between Gem Razor and the Recluse very helpful, but obviously we didn't quite get there in one of our games. I don't think that's a fault of we don't have enough of it. I think we just didn't draw it. Um, and because you are running so few lands, I think we're down to like 23. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I know, I mean, we did get mana screwed one game. That's not to say that you would always do that. Yeah, we do have 23 lands here. That's not to say that you're always going to get mana screwed. I'm just suggesting that um, 23 a little bit low um it's not terribly low so i think it's the right number but um you do of course run the risk when you're a little bit lower on the land count of of getting mana screwed that's going to happen occasionally so uh regardless i love this deck do i recommend it absolutely uh it is so fun uh so definitely try this one out guys it's a really cool take on mono green stompy where you get to kind of mutate onto stuff a lot more and do that kind of thing. So I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Really would appreciate it. And I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.